I'm Mitze from Google Cloud. And I'm Mofi. Hi, Mofi. In this video, we'll show how to serve JAMA2 on GKE with Hugging Face TGI. That's a framework for text generation inference. We'll follow a tutorial from Google Cloud Docs, and you can find the link in the description. Sounds exciting. Let's get started. So first, I'll generate a Hugging Face access token. Right? So I'll log into the Hugging Face Hub, go to the menu, click Settings, then find the Access Token tab, click Create Token, uh, give it a name or a bad name. I'm not judging. Um, remember to select Read Access for Gated Repositories and create a token and copy the token because I will need it later. Now, Gemma is a gated model, so make sure to accept the license agreement on the Hub. So now that I have the token, I'll go to Google Cloud Web Console and open Cloud Shell. And now to set things up, I'll set a few environment variables. Right? I'll fill in my project ID, set the region where I want to deploy the cluster, and paste in that Hugging Face Access token. And now I'm good to create a GKE cluster. I'll choose to create an autopilot cluster because that's the recommended way. Now, this will take a few minutes to create, but when it's ready, um, I'm good to configure kube control to communicate with the cluster. So I'll paste this right in. And I will also create a secret that has the Hugging Face access token, because the containers, they pull the model files from the hub whenever they start. So Mofi, now that I've created the GKE cluster, do you want to deploy GGI for me? Sure, Vitsa. First, let's review the deployment manifest. We have a manifest of type kind deployment, and we have an image that is created in collaboration with Hugging Face and Google that has all the right tools that you need to run Inference Server. Next, we set some resources and limits. And here we set our nvidia.com slash GPUs to four. We're going to be using four L4 GPUs. We set a num shared environment variable to four. We want to chunk our model into four parts. And next, we set a secret that Vitsa just created a second ago. And then we set the node selector to let Autopilot know what type of node to create for our workload. And the second part of this manifest is a service definition that we will create to access our model from outside the cluster. We set the app selector to target our deployment. And finally, we have our port where our application will be exposed to. Now that we have our manifest, let's go ahead and deploy it. We can, I will deploy the manifest with keep control apply dash F, name of the file, which is tgi.yaml. And once it's done, I will check the status of this deployment with keep control get pods, and we'll see that it's running, but it's not ready yet. To see the status of exactly what's happening in our container, I can run a log with keep control logs and name of the deployment. And it will show us what the log coming out of the container at, that is running right now. We'll see that we're downloading the model data. And this takes some time, so we'll just skip through and see that we're now still downloading and step 11 of 12. And after a few more minutes, our application would become ready. We see that our application is now connected. Once the application is running, we want to test out the model. So I can run keep control port forward to our service on port 8080 and test out the model by using a curl command, which we will do by typing in this curl command into our terminal and then ask the model, what is deep learning? I want to know that. And after a few seconds, the model should respond with the response. And we, here we have it. Thanks, Gemma. So it took quite some time to download that model before serving. So are there ways to make it faster? So in this example, we downloaded the model when the container started. To make it mm -hmm. faster, we could pre-download the model and store the data in some sort of file store or GCS bucket and mount that onto the container, and thus having to not download the model at runtime anymore. Awesome. So. To wrap up, we show you how to deploy Gemma 2 with 27 million parameters on GKE using Hungface TGI. Find the link to the full tutorial in the description. And thanks for watching.